Concentrate. <laughs> Concentrate. You don't fall in the oh! trap! Hang on for the loop! Four, three, two, one. Ricky. I'm Christina. And I'm Tanya, and I'm excited to finish the Loop Show Sandstorm Games. <laughs> We've been competing to see who will take home the best treasure. Ricky won our first two challenges, so he went twice into the Room of Doom. <laughs> I mean, it sounds a lot more ominous than it really is. Yeah, right? you just go into the room, and you take a treasure and put it inside of your treasure chest, and then you take another treasure and put it inside of your friend's treasure chest. Oh, and this is the week where we reveal what everyone has chosen for their treasure chest. So this challenge seems golf related, I'm assuming? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell us what it is. Well, it's simple. Just uh, beware of the sand traps. Ah. Yeah. So you yeah. just hit the golf ball and we win? Yeah. OK. Yeah. OK, well, one exception. You each will have a bucket of colored golf balls Ooh. and one purple golf ball. You'll get as many chances as you want with your colored golf balls, but only one chance that counts with your purple golf ball. Oh. The one who gets the highest score gets the chance to go into the Room of Doom for the last time. Practice all you want and get ready to wrap up the Loop Show Sandstorm game. <laughs> <laughs> Scares me every time. How much effort do you put into your friendship with Jesus? A little? A lot? None at all? Well, disciples live to be more like Jesus, and that's a really hard thing to do. You wanna to try to love everyone, and then someone is mean to you. You practice patience, even telling yourself to be patient, only to turn around and make a rush mistake. You follow God's way, and it makes you unpopular. Are you failing because you aren't trying hard enough? Or should you throw up your hands and give up? It's worth it to dedicate your life to being a student of Jesus, even when it seems impossible to always get it right. It's true. There are a lot of scriptures about hard work, but there are also many, many scriptures about resting in God, walking with Him, abiding or living in Him, and trusting in God to do that work. One of my favorites is Matthew 11, 28 through 29. Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. When we make mistakes, we run to our forgiving and loving Father who helps us in our efforts to be like him. Here's a helpful tip. Discipleship isn't about getting it right every time. You can let go of trying to be perfect. It's a lifetime of learning. And that's a truth that will set you free. All right, Christina, you're up. All right, many practice tries as you want. Don't fall in the sand trap. Got it? Okay, okay. Oh, Yay. okay, okay. okay. All, right. Oh. all right, so a little lighter. That wasn't even light at all. Okay, I got this. Got to be like Ricky. Think Ricky. Oh. Ah! Oh. Whoa. For whatever reason, the golf balls just love being I'm over in that power corner. Okay. 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 I'm ready. Oops. Yep. Did it already hit that? Oh. This if this was so like bocce fun. ball yeah. or croquette, you might do it. This is just so much oh, fun. Oh. That would be a ten. Oh. <laughs> Sand tramp. Sand tramp. Sand tramp. Oh, oh, oh. All right, I'm gonna close my eyes and just. It's a very colorful sand trap. Here's the thing about the sand trap. Like, it has a, oh, oh. wow. Did it has like that? a mind of its own. I think closing my eyes is the best option. She's just whipping along. That was a bad one. Yeah. I could feel it. All right, now for right. keeps. You can do another closed eye situation here? Yes, I am. Okay. Just... Focus. You got it? Go, Christina, go. It's oh. terrible. Oh. OK, 
okay, well, it would have been a five, but you're in the sand, so it's a zero. So if Ricky, you know, hits this ball and it goes out and they both, that's a zero, then we'll just, we'll do one more try and we'll go from there. Sound good? That's good. Great. You're up, Ricky. All right, here we go. <sighs> Eh. A little too much mustard on that one. All right, here we go. <laughs> you know, they say to, um, you know, keep going until you get it right. I'm going to try to keep going until I can't get it wrong, you know? Okay. Still getting it wrong. Okay. <laughs> Serious. Oh, it was like a shoo 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 Here's my strategy. Okay. Angling it? Yeah, I'm going to angle it. Oh. oh! I mean, you're just like so close. I'm gonna go for it. Oh. <laughs> you did a little like, this is it? You this is not. the purple? In all of golf history, I don't think I've ever seen this. This has never happened. Just bite. Oh. <laughs> Punch me in the stomach. <gasps> all you had to do was just pay attention to the rope. Then you veered off. Now you're stuck in the sand. You did perfect. So we both ended in the sand. Yeah. Tragically. Yeah, yeah. Which, since we have to have a winner, that means we're just going to go do it again. All right, this time I'm not going to quite close my eyes. Okay. But we're going to just like. All right, Christina, you got this. Okay. <sighs> Whoa. I couldn't help it. Good job. Like 95% sand, so you won! <laughs> Thank you! Well, good! Well, good I job! Knew I could do it! Congratulations, well done. Thank you. You get to go into the room of doom! Woo! How's it feel? Terrified! I'm Sam, and I'm here to explain what a paradox is and how it relates to discipleship in under one minute. If I take more than a minute, Luke is going to dump a whole bunch of beans on my arms, and I don't want that. So, Luke, are we ready? One minute on the clock. Go. Oh, okay. Uh, a paradox is something that seems absurd or contradictory at first, but once you explain it and learn a little bit more about it, you see that it's true and that it makes sense. So, like when... Um, Hamlet says, I need to be cruel to be kind, or when uh, Taylor Swift says that we're happy, free, confused, and lonely at the same time, or um, the song Hotel California says that you can check out anytime you like, but you can never leave. I never understood that one. What does that mean? Anyway, um, a paradox in God's kingdom is that we have everything that we need in God's love and his care for us, but we always want to grow in God's truth and learning more about who he is and how he loves us. Uh, it's like when you have the best meal of your life and you're full and you're satisfied, but you're still hungry for more. Or when you play a game you love and the game's over, but you still want to play some more. Uh, it's this really beautiful thing where these two things, these multiple things are, are true at the same time. 
Just had one more point. It's okay. Deserve this. It's being a clock. So good. Thanks. <gasps> Ooh. What is this? Cotton candy. Ooh, extra sour. And he can get these. Yay. in the Loop Show Sandstorm game. Oh. It's time to reveal your treasure. One, One two, two, three, four. four. Ooh, what'd you get? Slimy sand. It's like fast food friends. And mine says, adult supervision required. I oh, the sword and shield? Ah. Nice. I got a hammer. Is it a beach ball? I got an inflatable piano. Oh. And a guitar. Well, that. I got some hot dogs. Okay. Yay! What else? Gummy yeah. hot dogs. Did, was that a gummy taco? We're going to have to try oh, these. I would eat that. It's so sour. <laughs> Here you go. Mm, yummy. Oh. Here's the hot dog. I like a... Ooh. How is it? Is it hot dog flavored? Ready. Put some strength into <sighs> it. I'm just going to take all this stuff out of the shell. Let's take a big old bite. Mmm. Wow. Mm. Yes. Mm. Oh. Okay, oh. look at what you're missing out on here. It was that? It's so interesting. It I, smells I like, like you should eat it, but you don't, I don't think I should. Eat it? No? Okay. Hi, friends. I am here in the United Kingdom visiting my sister. Isn't it crazy how it's green like all year round here? Anyway. As I was planning for this trip, I started thinking there are really two different ways that anyone can prepare for a trip. If you're like person A, we'll call her Alice, you like planning every detail of your trip ahead of time because you want it to be perfect. You don't just know how you're going to get where you're going. You know what you're gonna eat, where you're gonna sleep, what museums you're gonna visit, what national parks you're going to explore, everything but you might be a little legalistic when it comes to following your plan and end up missing out on good things that come from being more flexible. If you're like person B, we'll call him Billy, you don't really like planning for trips ahead of time because planning and rules just aren't very exciting. You figure you'll just leave on your trip and figure it out as you go. So you always have time for last minute fun things like seeing a soccer game or catching a ride on the world's biggest Ferris wheel. But you can miss out on fun things you would have only known about if you had researched or planned ahead. So what can Alice and Billy teach us about discipleship? Well, following Jesus means living in both truth and grace. And when we focus on one more than the other, we can end up missing out on good things, just like Alice and Billy. Focusing more on truth looks a lot like Alice's approach to planning a trip. Even though God gives us grace, you rigidly follow Jesus' way and spend time being over-disciplined because you want to be perfect. You choose legalism and rely on your own merit to be good. And you think you can earn God's favor through performance and end up missing out on the goodness of God's grace. Focusing more on grace, on the other hand, looks a lot like Billy's approach to planning a trip. Discipleship, it takes effort, and sometimes it can seem like following Jesus takes too much time and effort. Too many rules, not enough excitement. You figure God will forgive you anyway, so you might as well do whatever you want instead and end up missing out on the goodness of God's truth. When we're able to focus on both truth and grace, it's like finding the perfect balance to planning a trip. You get all of the good things and none of the missing out. But what does it actually look like to live this way? Well, it looks like dedicating yourself to growing closer to Jesus by doing things like praying and reading your Bible. And it also means when you mess up, 
asking God for his forgiveness, and holding on to his teaching even when life gets hard. Living like Jesus is a lifelong journey. Dig in and find out what happens next. Okay, okay. You guys okay, just enjoy right. your treasures. Right. Tanya, thank you so much for coming over. We always have so much fun when you're here. Thank you for letting me join your party. Yeah, you were a great host. Thanks. I enjoyed it. We had so much fun digging into all of the sand. Mm -hmm. And what about you? Are you ready to dig into following Jesus? Disciples love digging deeper because that's where you find truth. And that's the real treasure. And until next time, enjoy, enjoy the ride! ride! You don't have to be perfect to follow Jesus. Following Jesus isn't always easy, but I'm telling you, it is always worth it. So think about your typical week. Are there places where you could be more disciplined? And are there places where maybe you're trying too hard? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much that you have so much grace for us, that you meet us right where you are, love us for who we are, and you invite us into more to discover the life that you have available for us. And so I pray that this week, all of us would do our best to follow you faithfully and that we would receive the grace you have for us when we fall short. It's in Jesus' name we pray, amen. You don't have to be perfect to follow Jesus. So try your best, do what you can, and trust that he is with you every step of the way.